Hey guys, welcome to a new video on my channel. It's been like a thousand years since I made a makeup video and I felt like it's it's time to do a little updated go-to makeup look because the reason I haven't made a lot of makeup videos is that I don't really enjoy makeup that much anymore. I don't... I... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, I rarely do my makeup. I only do makeup for filming videos and uh, well, I don't really do that that often either. <laughs> so yeah, I just don't have any interest in makeup in general, um, which is why I don't make makeup content on my channel. But I have been getting a lot of questions and since I do do my makeup the same way, Every single time I do my makeup, I thought, why not just make an updated version so you guys know what I use and all that stuff. You won't be seeing any new products today, I don't think, uh, from last time. Um, but I thought we would have a little chit-chat hangout anyway. So, for primer, I use a... It's an... Uh, Elizabeth Arden, it's almost all out, uh, Flawless Start Instant Perfecting Primer. And it's, uh, I actually really like it. I mean, usually I don't really believe in primers because I've never used a primer that actually does anything. But this one does. I mean, this does fill my pores and make it makes it the finish nicer, I would say. So... I really like it. Will I repurchase once it's completely out? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It's not one of my like ride or die products, but I have it and it's good. That's all I can say. For foundation, I use Bare Minerals. Mm, does it have any special name? Original Mineral Foundation in Fairly Light. So this is uh, what I've used for a long time. <laughs> uh, I think I've made a video on my channel where I like reviewed an entire Bare Minerals kit or something. And that was the second time I've started using Bare Minerals. And now I'm just not going back to anything else. I don't like uh, liquid foundations. I really prefer these powder foundations. And Bare Mineral works great for me and for my skin. And the coverage is just the amount of coverage that I desire. So it works out perfectly for me. I don't know if you guys can see a difference between the sides, but flawless, a little red and stuff. So I do like one, one swipe in the product and knock off any excess and then one half of the face for each swipe. So these products last for a very long time for me. I don't use any concealer or anything. I don't feel that I need any kind of heavy coverage for anything. And if anyone is wondering, my beautiful uh, teardrop plugs are from Omerica Organic. Uh, I have a discount code. This video is not sponsored, but I do have a discount code for you guys. That is Katrin25. Gives you 25% off their entire website. And it's where I buy all my plugs, and I absolutely love them. And these are my first teardrop plugs, and I think they're really, really, really pretty. Just in case anyone was wondering. Um, for <laughs> contour, or I mainly use, well, kind of contour, kind of bronzer. This palette looks really gross right now, <laughs> but it's the NYX Professional Makeup. Let's see, what's the name? 
Nick, it's broken. Uh, NYX Professional Makeup Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And I, I like it. I really like it. I've been using it for ages. It's probably expired a long time ago. Um, but I like it. It's, uh, it's a nice product. I don't like contouring with cream anymore since I use a powder base. I don't want to put cream on top or underneath. So I, I like using the, the powder. Um, I only use it for my cheekbones, I guess, and in my, on my forehead. I don't contour my nose anymore because I don't feel the need to. I have gotten over that insecurity a long time ago. Luckily, it makes life a lot easier. When I was younger, I couldn't take pictures of myself. I couldn't do like record videos. I couldn't do anything without contouring my nose because I hated my nose so much. And now I'm like... This is what I look like. Like, I'm not fooling anyone. People know what my nose look like and there's nothing wrong with it, so. And I just do this contouring not to like, make myself look super thin, ooh. It's just like, when I put my foundation on, my entire face is just one color. So I'm just trying to add some like natural shadows to it. Um, just to get some more color in there, I guess. Or get back the color that I removed. <laughs> Makeup makes a lot of sense. Um, now I will do my brows. And this makeup routine that I have, it's really quick. I mean, now obviously I'm talking while doing it and like, yeah, it's taking a little longer, but... And I have really bushy eyebrows. I need to pluck them probably, but... Uh, oh yeah, right. Uh, product. <laughs> uh, makeup store try brow color. The only product I've ever enjoyed using on my eyes. I started using it when I was 16. I'm now 26. So I've been using it for 10 years and I will never use anything else unless the company discontinues it and forces me to use something else. So... I get a lot of questions about like what products I use on my brows since I have quite light hair and brows. And this is what I always use. I had a phase of dip brow pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills when everything had to be like Instagram and makeup. But yeah, obviously over that. So now I prefer using this powder. And this brush is also the only brush I will ever use for my brows. It's really old. I think this brush is... It's the first brush I got with this first product I bought 10 years ago. So this brush is 10 years old. And I've tried other brushes, but just like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not using anything else. That's uh, good enough, I would say. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now, I will not be doing any eyeshadow today because I never do eyeshadow. Just like for videos, sometimes I might do like a little, just a little bit, but not today. Today I will do eyeliner and under, under eyes, under lash thing. <laughs> I take a uh, Real Techniques eyebrow brush. This is way too big for eyebrows in my opinion, so I don't use them for eyebrows. I go into my black uh, powder and I rub it into my lash line. And I try to really get it in between my lashes just so that just so that there's no like 
skin colored uh, gaps between the eyeliner and the mascara. And this causes a little bit of fallout usually and usually that fallout arrives like 20 minutes later <laughs> when you've blinked a bit so if you do this at home depending on what product you use i guess but make sure you look in the mirror like 15 20 minutes after you've done this and then sweep away the, <laughs> the stuff that falls down because after that has been swept away in my experience uh you're good so You can also use a black like pen for this, I think, but I, I feel like that doesn't really get in between the lashes as much. And that's kind of the whole point. As for eyeliner, I use my all-time favorite, Schwing from The Balm. Again, we'll never ever use anything else unless the company forces me to, and I hope they don't. Uh, this is an amazing liquid eyeliner, I love it. And these days I don't put eyeliner on my entire lid, only on the middle to out, outer corner. And if you've followed me for a while, you'll know I have uneven eyes, which means that more of the lid is visible on this eye than on this eye. So this eyeliner needs to be thicker for them to look the same. more or less even, I would say. <laughs> Always stop when it's basically good enough. If you keep going, you're gonna fuck it all up. Um, as for lashes, about three weeks ago, I did a lash lift where they like semi-permanently bend your lashes upward and dye them. And it's not something I recommend. I am not happy with it at all. I will never do it again. And it just didn't turn out the way I thought it would. And I don't think that's because they did it poorly. I think it's just because it didn't match my expectations. When I curl my lashes with a, an eyelash curler, I curl them at the root and they go straight up, which I like. And uh, mascara obviously makes them black and long and awesome. The lash lift, like the, first of all, the solution or whatever they used to permanent them upwards made the lashes crispy and dry like obviously isn't that what happens to hair too that you like permanent i don't know uh perm is what it's called maybe um and it's just i don't if i feel like i constantly have like crusty eyes now because of it and the color did not do what i thought it would because I always thought that mascara only, for me, the mascara I use only makes my lashes black. And apparently that's not the case, because she dyed my lashes black and they are still not the same as when I use mascara. So obviously my mascara adds length or whatever. And the curl that they did on my lashes is... Uh, well, the problem is that, as I said, when I curl them, I curl them from the root upward. Here, a lot of my length was lost because of the slight outward bend. So the thing she put on my lid, and then that, that went out a little bit, and then she smooshed them upwards so there would be a, like, a rounded thing. And I lost so much of my length by her doing that. I just, no. No, no, no. I, I don't like it, and I can't wait for it to go away so I can get my normal lashes back. Um, 
but it is what it is and the mascara i use my ride or die again will never use anything else like if i find a product i love i will never swap it unless i'm forced to uh eden minerals aid Let's see you can see there aid uh, mascara the best i've ever tried it's amazing and now i became all dark so yeah, that was just a flop altogether. And I won't be doing it again. Luckily, I did not waste my money doing it because I used a gift card we got for our birthday last year, actually. We went to a spa and I chose the lash lift as one of my treatments. But yeah, do not recommend whatsoever. Maybe it works for other people or for people who have other preferences, but no. This just fucked up my lashes altogether. Because now they just like always look ugly. Even when I do my makeup, I have ugly lashes and I have always loved my lashes and been very happy with them. And now they're just like... <laughs> I fucking hate it. Ugh. Not a fan at all. But you have to try to know. I have always thought that that would be like the magical solution for me to have perfect lashes and it's not so now i know and i love my regular lashes even more as a result which is often what happens when i do these things same with the lip fillers it did not work out for me i thought it looked pretty ridiculous and now i love my regular lips more Like, I can't even apply mascara to my lashes because they're just crusty and gross. Ugh. Do not like at all. Um, mm -mm. Blush. I will probably use... Yeah, this is the Wet n Wild Mellow Wine Blush. Pretty nice. And for highlighter, I use my other all-time favorite. Like, blush is the only one where I haven't had... Blush is, like, the only product where I haven't found, like, a die-hard fan <laughs> product. I have a few that I like, but I also want to, like, switch them up depending on my mood. Uh, but highlighter is not one of those. I have one highlighter that I use all the time, and that is the Milani Strobe Light. And I used to have another shade, but this one is Day Glow. Oh, Strobe Light. Is Strobe Light the shade? Um, and it's really nice. And it's not too extreme. I'm not a fan of extreme highlighter. So it's just enough for me. And oh, I forgot brow gel. That's a must as well. I used the NYX Control Freak eyebrow gel. It's pretty good. And last but not least, my lips. And I always, always, always get asked, "What's uh, what lipstick do you wear? What's on your lips? What shade is that?" And for the past three or so years, it's been the same shade. <laughs> Um, let's see, here it is. Gerard Cosmetics Serenity. And uh, this is a product where the shade is perfect, I love it, but I'm not a huge fan of liquid lipsticks. I wish I didn't have to use liquid lipsticks, but I also don't like trying new products and finding my perfect shade in a, a regular lipstick would take a lot of trying and I just don't have the energy to try. <laughs> so I keep using Serenity. This one is almost completely out. So once this is completely out and dried up, 
I guess I will venture into the world of regular lipsticks and try to find something that works. I'm sure there are many shades. This is just a regular nude, but it's just that I found it and I like it and, well, you know. there we have it my go-to makeup look this is how i look in every single video i record sometimes i have a little bit of brown eyeshadow just to like define the outer corners a little bit but usually i don't <laughs> uh, my hair has not been styled at all i just blow blue dry it blow dried it uh, so it has no products in it or anything so i'm going to do my hair now if you want to know how i do my hair there's a video about that I posted it not so long ago, so you can easily find it. But my hair has been growing a lot, and I don't really know how to style it anymore. Um, I don't really necessarily like the swoopy bangs, and I don't really necessarily like the, the pushback look either. But my plan for now is to let my hair grow. I'm not keeping it short, but I also don't like feel, Oh, it has to grow fast! I'm gonna get extensions! Or anything like that. Like, I'm gonna enjoy it at all stages, but I want it to grow out for now. Uh, we'll see what I decide to do in the future, but now you know the plan, at least. <laughs> um, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For those of you who have wanted an updated makeup video, this is it. I hope you got the answers you were looking for. And if you notice that I don't post a lot of videos right now, it's because my seasonal depression is kind of hitting hard and I'm really, really struggling <laughs> to upload and record. Uh, I had a good day today when I woke up, and we're going to celebrate Sonny's mom today, so I'm, I was going to get ready anyway, and the sun is shining, and I just had a little extra energy. So here I am, <laughs> but yeah, I'm struggling, just so you know. But thank you for watching anyway, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a super good one. See you later. Bye.